All right, so for our mindset video today, uh, this one's really big. It's, it's, it all goes back to the probably the one thing we've all heard before, to have a better life, to have a better mindset, to have a better uh, just experience in life in general. The more thankful we are, the better our experience is gonna be. I mean, I think that's across the board. The more thankful we are, the better our experience is gonna be. So, uh, I'll say this, that even though that's something we all, I, I think we all know, the more thankful we are, the better our life is gonna be. Uh, gratefulness is just, you get more when you're, when, you're, when you're thankful for what you got. It's still not something that I think most people, even though we know it, are able to just do on a daily basis, meaning it's not a part of their daily life. So I don't wanna shoot a video and just say, be thankful because I think we all know be thankful is a great way to, to have a good mindset and have peace in your life. But I wanna, I wanna address it in a way that maybe can be something you can actually use. And so here's what I do for um, helping myself be more thankful and more grateful. Um, one, I make sure that when I'm, when I'm doing my thankfulness stuff in the morning, I, I have it set in the morning, and that took a while for me to get to a, level, a place where I was just like, I guess, disciplined enough to where it just it consistently happened for the first months of doing it. Um, I would forget, I would miss a day here and there, and it would just never seem like it was consistent. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's just what I do when I wake up. It's kind of like reading the Bible. It's just what I do when I wake up, and I miss it. Every so often I'll miss it because of life circumstances, but I try to be as consistent with that as possible. And it really makes a big difference. It doesn't have to be something I feel like I have to do. It's something I want to do because I, I start to feel the difference from it. But one of the things I've learned over time is thankfulness. I used to just kind of like stand out on my porch and be like, God, thank you for the, for the air that I breathe today. Thank you for the trees. Thank you for uh, a house. And thank you. And, and yes, those things that are there are thankful but they're to be honest like deep down I am thankful for them but they're kind of things that just I expect to have I expect to have air uh, I, that might sound bad I expect to have a house because those are things I've worked for and I'm very thankful for them but the things that I really like hit me at an emotional level so when I say pick the things that hit you at an emotional level these are the things that when you say Lord thank you for this you have like this emotional experience inside like you, you feel all warm you feel like almost like maybe even teary-eyed at a moment of it um that it just it's because it, when we when you really want to like attract more great things in your life and enjoy your life and have more peace it, it's emotion that does that so you can say thank you for the trees but if there's not emotion attached to that it really isn't doing anything i mean it may be something at a little level but not really what you're trying to accomplish but when you say thank you, you know, like for, for me it's thank you for um, Eleanor and I picture Eleanor and I picture um, you know all the funny things she does and when she laughs and the experiences we've had and you know I think back to her birth and it just it feels so good inside that I'm extremely thankful thank you for Holly and, I, and you know I think back at our wedding day so I'll say thank you for Holly and I'll think back at our wedding day and I, or I'll look back at um, for Isabel and when I came home and and she was already born by the time I got home and I think about when she was sitting in the bathtub with Holly and you know what she looked like and you know every just everything about her right and that's true thankfulness like emotionally connected to it i think about honestly i think about uh, my relationship with god and that i get to know who i am like i i don't know about you guys but no i, I found that when i truly am solid you know everybody kind of falters in these areas based on where they are in life at different times in their life but when i uh, fully feel um like I know whose I am, I know who I am, I know where I stand with God, I know that um, no matter what, like he's kind of got my back there, right? <laughs> no matter what, I have eternal life. You know, the worst case scenario, everything falls apart, I still have that. So there's never, there's really no such thing as rock bottom. And so there's always that experience of thankfulness that I'm thankful no matter what. Now I'm not always okay with where I'm at. I want to grow and I want to get better and stronger, but I'm still thankful for everything that I have. I'm thankful that God put people, things in my life like um, the wellness way, you know, and people like Dr. Patrick Flynn that's taught me so much and I've learned so much from and other doctors that I've learned from. When I used to be in a group called Maximize Living, I learned tons from them. I think I'm thankful for our staff and, and um, you know, Jennifer and Jen and, and Sydney and how the things, different individual things that they have strength in and how they support us and help us so much and are always there for us. So it's just those thankfulness moments that have an emotional connection to them. Okay, so I hope I didn't jab on about my life too much, but what I want you to get from that is do those thankful things, set the timer and just do them. You won't feel like it in the beginning. It'll take you a while to get to where you feel like it. And it might seem like, hey, I can, I can do, be doing better, more important things. 
But I can promise you from personal experience that if you just make yourself do it in the beginning, it becomes something you want to do and you don't have to make yourself do it anymore. And it's just like what you do. And then eventually it actually becomes something you do throughout your day. And when you're in a state of thankfulness, you don't see the negative. You don't see the bad things like, oh my gosh, this didn't work out for me in my life and it's all going to fall apart now. You don't see that. Your worry kind of disappears when you have that thankfulness. It kind of turns into just this love for life, I guess you could say. So that for me is um, one of the most powerful things in thankfulness. It's not just saying thank you for the trees and thank you for the, just saying thank you to say thank you, but literally get emotional about it and see if you can feel it. And, and even I'll test you, I'll challenge you to pick something that you're so thankful for that it literally brings you to tears. All right. Hey, share our, our comment on this video if you were able to do that. You know, that you actually pick that one thing that you literally get emotional to the point where you can see, feel tears growing up in your eyes because you're so happy about it in your life. So uh, that's it, guys. Hey, be thankful, love life, and those are the things that are really going to take you to the next level when it comes to your mindset. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to connect with us and learn more, we're constantly shooting information or shooting videos. We actually have a blog as well, and we have a website where you can learn so much more. If you want help with your health, you can actually connect with us, come into our clinic, or jump on a phone call with us and see if we can help you. To do that, go to the links below in the, in the information area and click those areas, and then you can move forward and see how we can actually address and help you with your health issues as well.